Dr. Evan Osar with the Chicago Integrative Movement Specialist. Hope you had a great weekend. This week is really an important week for us because we're raising money to help our vets. So there's a great program that we're running this year. Each year, we actually donate money. We actually raise money to donate money to our vets. So this year, we're doing something special to support our vets. So there's a great program out there called Puppies Behind Bars. And we first read about this, Janice and I first read about this on an airplane when we were flying to one of our conferences. And we fly Southwest, so it's a Southwest magazine. And it was about this veteran whose life was changed by this puppy that was part of this program that was Puppies Behind Bars. As you recognize, many of our veterans are returning from wars and conflict with PTSD. And this particular story followed this or profiled this one veteran who had a dog that he adopted through this program, Puppies Behind Bars, that basically helped save his life. It allowed him to return to his everyday activities. The puppy basically, or the dog, the trained dog, would become this man's companion dog. So this program really touched Janice and I, and we kept thinking about, hey, we should one day do something around this program for our vets. So this year we decided to up our ante because every year we generally raise money for our vets by donating to homeless vets here in Chicago, but we wanted to make it a little bit bigger this year. So this year we are, as part of our, our annual Fitbit challenge, we are going to raise money to help support our, vote, our vets this year. The great thing about this program is there's three ways this program really wins because it's, it's while the, the center is really around our vets, it's a really awesome program and here's why it's such an awesome program. Number one, it's a win-win-win because the inmates win. Because what they do, the, the individuals that train these puppies to become companion dogs are actually nonviolent inmates. And you know like our prisons are overcrowded right now and there's very few programs to help these in, inmates, especially the nonviolent ones, when they re return at, out to everyday life. But the great thing about this program is, is these inmates care for this dog and train this dog so they actually learn how to care, be empathic, and also learn skills, compassion, caring, love, responsibility, because they train the dogs that ultimately, then number two, the second win, is they go to a veteran in need that has PTSD. So really, really awesome way that this program serves both our nonviolent inmates to help them get back on track, as well as serving our vets. Now, the third way this program wins is you win. Because not only are all your donations going to support this program to help us raise a, and adopt a dog for a veteran, but we're also sharing with you in the 66 day challenge because we're right in the middle of our 66 day challenge. And why 66 days? Because we've, our research has shown that it takes 66 days to create a new habit. So not only do you win by helping us support our veterans, but you help support our nonviolent inmates so they get back on track. We help support our veterans that have PTSD and you win because we're sharing with you the habits that really and ultimately create change in your health and fitness. Because nothing significantly changes until you change your habits. And like I said, research has shown it takes 66 days to change a habit. So instead of starting on January 1st, we decided like, hey, let's start 66 days out from January 1st. So again, we're in our uh, second week right now of our 66 day challenge. And Janice and Sarah have been sharing with you ways that you can incorporate more optimal, health and fitness habits into your life. Because it starts with small habits. It's not about creating a massive change, like all of a sudden changing your, your diet massively, or all of a sudden changing how you work out and or your lifestyle around health and fitness habits. It's about making those small, consistent changes day after day after day. So Janice and Sarah are sharing with you some simple, easy habits that you can create, what we call micro habits, that you can institute into every single day. And those are the same habits I used to climb the Willis Tower yesterday, 103 stories, and I actually did it with my mouth closed because I wanted to prove to myself, or I should say I wanted to develop the habit of being able to breathe more efficiently, as well as get more cardiovascular fitness, which I actually just like doing cardiovascular health and fitness 
but I know how important it is. So I started to train myself to keep my mouth closed as I do my cardio exercise. So when I do my bike riding, even when I'm in the gym lifting, I lift mostly, I exercise mostly now with my mouth closed and I wanted to be able to do those 103 flights of stairs. I didn't know if I would be able to with my mouth closed and I was able to do that, just breathing simply through my nose. So whatever habit you wanna create around health and fitness, you can do it by using these micro habits. So, Please help support us this year to support our vets, Puppies Behind Bars. Again, it's a win-win-win program. It's really an awesome program. We'd love your support. If you've already supported us, thank you so much. Those of you that are joining us in the Fitbit Challenge, that 66-day walk, thanks to you guys as well. And I'm keeping to my 10,000 steps a day, so I hit the 666, no, 660,000 steps by the end of the program. So. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and thanks for supporting our vets. And if you're a veteran, thank you for your service. We truly appreciate all our freedoms and what you guys have sacrificed to make our lives great. This is Dr. Evan Oso with the Chicago Integrative Movement Specialist. Watch for Janice and Sarah's updates, and we'll see you later this week on Facebook Live. Take care.